Hi, Maka here. Um, so, Tomb has acquired Inquisitor Eisenhorn, and he has tasked me with painting it up for him. Uh, he was based grey, and so far, I'm making this video a little bit late, all I've really done is started to put the black down on him. Uh, as I paint, I tend to go from darkest to lightest colours with the biggest areas and working my way to the top with the smallest and yeah he looks a mess at the moment but let's hope I can do him justice for Tomb we shall see what happens so next up I have applied the red um, yeah, no, I'm not a pro painter or anything, but the more I look at this guy, the more detail there is on him. Uh, I'm one of these people I love building up the models and then painting later. And most of the time I do it, I end up sort of regretting it and thinking, oh, I should have left that bit unstuck. But I prevail, and most of my collection is painted that way now. I think the only model that I've actually got is the Great Unclean one, where I've kept him separate. Right, that's all going out of focus. You have to excuse us while we get used to all this videotaping and everything. But uh, yeah, so the red is down. And like I said, the more I stare at this guy, the more detail comes out on him. Um, next up, I think I'm going to move into brown. Get some boots and get some other leather pets and belt pouches and stuff done on him. He's uh, Yes, he's fun to paint. Okay, so that is the brown down on him. You can see I've done some pouches and that. Um, sorry, these. Let me try to pick him up. Colours a bit. Oh no, he still looks messy. As the detail goes in, it will get tidier. Um, yeah, that is the end of part one. We have him going all right. Red, black, and brown down now. And I'm going to put him down now because it's late and my eyes are starting to hurt and I want to do this guy some justice. Uh, thank you. Tune in soon for part two.